There is a growing call to file more hate crime charges against suspects. KPI x Maria Medina takes a closer look at that issue. To me, that's clearly a hate crime. It seems like he sought out a place where there were Asian women and he executed them and he murdered them. Five days after a 21-year-old Georgia man shot and killed eight people, six of them Asian, at Atlanta-based spas, there is no word on whether the suspect will be charged with a hate crime. Amid a growing outcry across the country from those who believe it's clear it was. Why is it so difficult to prove a hate crime has been committed? Yeah, I've been thinking about that. It, it's, I guess the difficulty is that unless you have somebody specifically shouting out some kind of racial epithet, um, it's hard to know why a person did something. I mean, I know that the law enforcement has been saying, well, we don't know, and they're making some other excuses for this person. And yesterday was a really bad day for him, and this is what he did. He has uh, some, some issues, uh, potentially uh, sexual addiction. It's a clear example, some believe, of why there is underreporting of anti-Asian incidents or violence from the AAPI community. There is a tendency to maybe internalize things or try to tell yourself, well, that that didn't really happen or that they didn't really mean that. The change, Richard Conda, executive director of the Asian Law Alliance, says begins with a sense of support and community for victims, including from law enforcement. I think, honestly, that a lot, a lot of the law enforcement community needs a lot more education. They need to understand the history of this country, the history of the anti-Asian violence. And Georgia does have a new law signed by their governor last year that says targeting someone because of sex can be considered a hate crime. In San Jose, Maria Medina, KPIX 5.